hit. The legend. Ryan Garcia did it, guys. He did it. He did it against an elite fighter. Let's go, Ryan. Ryan King, Ryan Garcia, baby. First of all, first of all, let me say um, thank you, Brooklyn. Thank you uh, to all the fans. Thank you, New York for giving Ryan all the love, all the love he deserves. Yes, sir. Everybody said, oh, this fight doesn't belong on the East Coast. And this. Look at the arena. Pay-per-views are gonna be through the roof. And Ryan Garcia as the champ. Come on, baby. Yeah. Go. Okay. Um, thank you guys for uh, coming. But first and foremost, I want to thank Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, Lord of the Lords. Um, all glory to Him. You know, this is why people need to stop believing everything on the internet and stop, you know, living in a false reality. At the end of the day, there's a lot of real shit going on. You know, the last thing you should worry about as a kid acting crazy on the internet. Real shit is going on in the world. Open your eyes. You know, kids being hurt, nobody caring. Everybody looking at it like, oh, he's just crazy, he's a conspiracy, he's this, he's that. At the end of the day, that shit was real. And I, I out there put that my reputation on the line, had everybody thinking I was crazy. At the end of the day, who's the crazy one now? You know, I, I didn't really want to say this, but it is the truth. You know, everybody needs to acknowledge, like, yo, I'm tripping. Y'all was tripping, mm. not me. Mm. You guys were tripping. Mm. I was, I was the one that was actually with sanity. Because I'm like, yo, there's the hurting little kids. Let's, let's help them. But that's why being a real man. Because I don't give a fuck what people say about me. That's right. I walked through the fire and still held it down and still beat fucking Devin Haney and still drink every day and still beat him. And I still, I did everything. What the fuck? Hey, what, what happened? False reality, right? Drank every single night. Went out on the first Monday and a Tuesday and Sunday. What happened? I won. He's been hey, calmed down. Not, hey, not necessarily. I'm, wait, wait, wait. Not necessarily am I proud of that. But I'm just saying, this is, I, it was a statement to show you, you guys can't really fuck with me. That's right. I can do whatever I want. That's cool. He did, he did uh, settle down on Sunday, though. <laughs> just imagine. I don't know. If none of that happened, and he stayed in camp for eight weeks. Oh, I didn't do that, but I just. That's just imagine, see, use your imagination what y'all all have written. Just imagine all the things he just said, and I'm going to keep up my shit because this is out. And he would have just but been, been straight yeah. for eight weeks, would have been a wreck. Yeah. But, like, I, I, I was just having fun, man. I, I'm just looking. I'm going through a lot, you know. I, got, I, I, I went through a divorce. Uh, I just, a lot of shit's been happening to me, you know, outside my life. Um, <clears throat> that low key kind of broke me. So, you know, I, I did what I felt I needed to do to feel okay. And so I took the day and I did whatever I wanted. And, uh, I'm not proud of it at all. I just pray, you know, pray for my kids and hopefully they're okay. You know, Henry, Bella, Riley. I hope I made them proud. Um, you know, don't don't necessarily don't necessarily look at me like an example. Look at Jesus Christ because I'm far from perfect. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.